right? For those, for those of who uh, who don't know anything about the good news, allow me to tell you about the good news. The good news, the good news is the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's basically the fact that he was born, he died, and he rose again. He came to this earth to save us from our sins because we couldn't do it ourselves. He then took up the cross and was crucified and died in our stead so that we, us sinners, and or those who used to be sinners, could have the right to live in God's kingdom. So the gospel is basically the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He rose again to, to save our souls from the gates of hell. And for all those who believe in him, that is in his son Jesus Christ, you shall gain eternal life. For the Bible says, Acts 2, 28, it says for us to be baptized. First, we have to repent from our sins because we were all born into sin. And it's not our fault. It's just that that's how it was from the get-go, Adam and Eve. So because of their sin, we all, every human, every mankind was born into sin. Now, God tried to want, and wanted to, and he did redeem us again by coming down here himself in the form of a man, which is Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, because he tried everything, but he finally said, you know what? <laughs> if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. So he came down in the form of a man, in the form of Jesus Christ, to bear our sins, to bear our burdens. And even still right now, although he's up in heaven, he did leave us uh, the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, which will teach and guide us into all the truth that God needs for us to know. And even if you don't know nothing about the Bible, even if you don't know anything, I would suggest that stop, don't listen to people. Pick up that Bible yourself, open it up, and read something for yourself. And I guarantee you, God will give you enough faith to make the next step. He will talk to you. If you truly want to seek him for you, from your whole heart, just pick up that Bible, pick up the scripture. I mean, read anything, but read Acts 2.38 and read the whole book of Acts, as a matter of fact. And God would talk to you. He would talk to him the spirit that's within you. Not his spirit just yet, but he will talk to you, your, your spirit. He knows. God knows everything that we need before we even ask. So I suggest that you just pick up the Bible, look at it, read it, and learn it for yourself. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to the preacher here and the preacher there. Just pick it up and read it for yourself. And I guarantee you, God will talk to you. He will talk to you. You know, some people ask me, man, um, how do you do it? You know, this, that, and the other. But, you know, um, the sinful, how do I not do the sinful things that I am capable of doing? And I just simply tell a man, it's not me, it's the spirit. It's the spirit that gives me strength to live the life that I need to live for Christ. It's his spirit, it's his Holy Spirit. And he will give it to you. I know people try, they try, they try. You can try as much as you want to. Try to stop smoking, stop drinking. You can stop having sex. You can try, you can try and do all that, but I guarantee you, 99% out of the time, it won't happen. You will not succeed because it's your human nature. It's our human nature to do the things that, uh, that seems natural. But when God comes and gives you the supernatural, then that's when you can say, I've won. I've defeated, I've defeated drugs, I defeated um, smoking, I defeated you know, foul language, I defeated any of the sins that we were born into. I mean, it's natural again, it's natural for a sinner to sin. I mean, I'm not your judge, don't get me wrong, I ain't got the time to be a judge, but I'm just gonna state a couple 
two facts. One, God's word is true if you read it. And number two, I'm a witness of the life that God said I can have if I do the things that the Bible says. I am a witness. And I live, I'm living that life now. I live it now. Uh, it can be hard, but with Jesus Christ, I got the victory. And you can too. God bless you. Thanks for listening to my little giddy up out of the spirit of the moment. But I just felt the urge to, you know, say a little something, something. All right, for Jesus. God bless you all. Don't forget, search God's word for yourself. Find a good church. Make it happen for your life. Because God can give you the promise now on this earth, and he can give you the promise of eternity. Amen. Amen. Peace of God.